If you're looking for an alternative to a ham sandwich, then this is it. We've taken out the ham and replaced it with steak, roasted vegetables, well, roasted fried vegetables, homemade mayonnaise, and it's so quick you will not believe it. Steak sandwich. Yep, it's always gonna be a favorite, and we're gonna show you a really simple way that you, single-handedly, can do it in way less than 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It starts with a bit of chopping, okay? So we've got a red onion to start off with. If you peel it and chunk it up, and then later on when we fry all these off, all we're gonna do is pile in loads of really robust flavors. And you can do exactly the same with one red pepper, one yellow pepper, and a courgette. Cut them into similar sized pieces. a shot of olive oil into a hot pan and get them in. It looks like a lot, but they're gonna fry down an awful lot at a really high heat. They will take four or five minutes or so. In the meantime, move on to the next bit. We've got the flavors for tapenade. Now tapenade, like an olive puree. So we've got garlic, anchovy, and black olives. All we're gonna do is tip them out onto the board and roughly chop them all so it softens down. You don't need to blend it all up. It's gonna soften down in the pan. Yeah, and it's, it's really chunky, so it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of olive or a little bit of garlic. Now the veg is going to carry on cooking down every so often, give the pan a bit of a shake. And meanwhile, our steak. These are two awesome sirloin steaks. If you just sprinkle the salt and pepper on those. Beautiful. Yeah, you can season our veg as well. And the hob, great. Right, we've also got a really hot cast iron griddle. So we'll place our steak into there. Depending on how you want your steak cooked, They'll take one to three minutes on each side. I reckon a minute and a half would be plenty for us. We want this pretty rare. Can we have it medium? We can leave your one in a bit longer. The steak is cooking. Our veg continues to soften and sweeten down. We can also make this homemade sauce we're talking about. Crack an egg. We want the yolk in here and the white in there. It's only the yolk we need for mayonnaise. Great. Chop the end off a lemon, and we want to just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into... Great or chop? Chop. Okay. You just said great, and then handed me a lemon. Great. <laughs> so just squeeze in. Plenty. About half a teaspoon of mustard, so not all of that, just a little tiny bit of it. And then start whisking. And then all you need to do is dribble in, rinse it all very, very slowly as you whisk, and the slower the better. So tiny, tiny dribble, and then you can add a bit more. Now you've got plenty of time to make this, so don't at any point take your eye off the steak as well, which you'll need to turn. Give it a nice flip, beautiful, perfect. I'm just gonna shake that because shake that. it looks like it could do with a shake. Mayonnaise yep. is looking pretty good. Now all of your olives can go into your roasted veg. So it's olive, it's raw garlic and anchovy. And don't be scared if you think anchovy's gonna make it fishy. It's just kind of a really awesome seasoning. Now we can take our steak out of the pan and onto a warm plate. Beautiful. A little bit of ciabatta, which we're going to serve it on. So if I give you a bread knife, you can just Thank halve you. it Ta -ta. that way, and then halve it that way. And we're going to put that into our pan while our steak rests. It smells so good. It now. smells great, doesn't it? <laughs> you can grab some basil from behind us and chop up some fresh basil. But you need to let the steak rest so that when you cut into it, it doesn't kind of flow the blood everywhere. Now, if I give you the steak, if you want to cut that into nice thin slithers, mm. and all of this steak juice, that's slithers. going into here, because that is all flavour. That has an excellent consistency. There we go, a pretty epic steak sandwich with roasted veg, tapenade flavour, seared steak, and a homemade mayonnaise in less than 20 minutes. Sorted. I'm going to grasp it in two hands. I'm going to kiss goodbye to this jumper. That oh, is good. It's crunchy and it's quite sweet. That is a perfect. Decent sandwich. That is so decent. And already in under 20 minutes. The thing is, though, we want to know would you cook this in 20 minutes or would you go for something else? Let us know down below. <laughs>